All right, yes, you're welcome back to the Balanced Diet or Teletainment this morning. Now, if you check your Agogo, you go, go see, see this next bus stop, all the enter. That's up to where concern our country, concern our nation, our population, to be precise. Because this morning, just before we start the show, we did talk about the World Population Day. And we don't hear the estimate when they talk, say, as we did talk now, so they say we're about 186 million people for inside this country, Nigeria. And as we be all come outside, project, say, before we reach the year 2030, so it will be about um, 230 million in. In this country that now why we get people where they represent the international youth alliance for family planning inside our means because we know the importance of family planning this high population rate today get with the level of high unemployment rate and also with a high level of mortality rate now things we need to consider if one carry this nation to the permanent site so we get in the house dr ayomide is in the building welcome thank dr you, ayomide thank you very much. and we also get um Enito Olua also representing the iy AFP for inside the building. Una, good morning. Good, good morning. to have you. Now, just quickly, tell us how important is family planning as regards to our population increase? Um, okay, um, family planning um, basically is something about, is a, is a way of thinking about how you want to live your life, basically. It's that simple. You know, then, then they always call them um, for your wife, some of Ruby. That's um, something where you do. Say, you want to plan how you want to burn your picking. Say, okay, now three picking I won't have, now two picking I won't have, now one picking I won't have. This picking, I won't have them space. Say, okay, this one, oh, two years after, now I'm going to burn this one. So the idea behind it is just for you to have enough time to plan your life. If you want to have three kids, then you know that maybe you are going to have them over six years. The recommendation is that you should have at least two years between your kids. So it gives you time to dote on each of them for two years. Imagine if... Someone has a child now, and then a year later has another child. That means while the first one is still breastfeeding, the second one is behind her back. So she's breastfeeding one, she's carrying one behind her. So imagine you say that kind of person, that person will get a job, will be very, very difficult. That means say she no go fit face her work well. Then she no go fit take care of the children well. Then it means say the man, you know how pampas expensive these days. It means say the kind of pampas where the man go to buy, and every baby things where he go to buy, go plenty pass. Unlike when Infi used two years, a two year space to plan for each picking. So the, the thing about family planning is I say, make person feel live life to the fullest on his own, especially people who want bomb picking. Well, with the child related time to our population increase, yeah. how important today should we have a universal family planning um, scheme to control our population or we shouldn't? Uh, the, the little problem with the DNA say, if, if you talk population control, people they always fear. You know, say Niger for Nigeria, we believe, say, children then be gift from God. So if you tell man, say, no bomb picking, he go tell you, say, now nah, you won't take care of them. So, but the, the thing I say, there's, there's a good reasoning behind planning your kids. Now, the reason why we need to plan our population is that, imagine, say, man, they in get 100 naira per month. In get two picking. On each picking, they spend for five naira. If you can't get 10, 100 naira, each picking is for five naira. You know, say the number for five naira when they spend don't increase. It means say, that man no go get time to spend on all that. And so it's the same thing with Nigeria. Imagine say Nigeria will not reach 190 million. Imagine say as the kind money we will get. Look at a country like Kuwait, for example. That's look at a country like Kuwait, for example. They have oil. They make a lot of money from oil, but their population is not up to 50 million. So it's easy for them to take care of their citizens, much more than Nigeria will be the papa. We don't need to even make money rich Kuwait from top oil. But mm. I'll take care of 190 million. But okay, now I, I know say I remember when family planning be the rain in our country in the 70s, when we even get Onye Kowenu and um, King Sonia they, they sing a song to promote family planning in those days. Now fast forward now to this current year and this um, this era where we day, you go hear a lot of people go tell you now, anytime I hear the um for this question to you, go hear a lot of people tell you, say, ah, bona sharp, 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 oh, back to back, back to no waste time. Because you they talk say six years. The school fees where you go pay for the first beginning, six years' time is not gonna be that same school fees. We know as all these things they increase every day. That's not why they hear. A lot of people they know they waste time. If once they begin with six months, they go, so yeah, do the next one. So that they but they follow back to back for school. Why not? If you say this method or this mentality what we get of doing of, of having your children back to back is better than the family planning in terms of their um, in terms of mo money management and even the way forward for our population. Okay, so me, I'll just talk from this angle of the health of the woman. Because you need spacing in between the children. So to say, make the woman feel gather herself or feel help herself. So after nine months, you burn another one. 
it tells on her distress. You see a lot of women looking older than their, themselves. Many of them even have to deal with a lot of things because nursing children, I know we are women and we know how it is. It's not very easy juggling and running up and down trying to chase this. Psychologically, now we're talking about mental health, talking about a lot of depression and a lot of things that happen to women. And I think bearing children like this without your plans cause a lot of all these things because speaking come today, like Dr. Amelie said, 100 Naira, speaking come today, I need this, I need that, this train. And yes, the cost of living, but the time in between we're going to use to plan helps you realize that, okay, I can afford this at this time. I cannot afford at this time. Okay, but now when would they talk of family plan, they talk of some, some measures or some, some medications we supposed to prevent the woman from getting pregnant in a certain period of time. Now in our country, we get some religions, we know they allow the practice of certain things. Some religion will tell you, say, no protection. If the belly enter, now God actually give unto you. What do we feel to do to change that orientation of that? Because I know couples, they go tell you, say, they will never use any protective measure. Mm -hmm. Instead, they will count their calendar, of which that is a higher risk, mm -hmm. because you have a higher chance of still getting pregnant. Mm -hmm. So the, the thing about that one, I say, um, in Nigeria, you get one association where they get, where they say they bring religious leaders together. Muslim, they, Christian, they, other religions, they, and they brought them together. They, because we realize, say, for our country, one of the challenges that we get now, say, we have cultural and religious barriers to so people accepting family planning. And one thing we don't realize now, say, there's really no place inside the two holy books or any other like that we talk, say, you must not use family planning. There's really no place that points it out, say, family planning, no, no. Me, I'm a Christian, so I can talk about, there's no place in the Bible that says that you should not use family planning. Funny thing, I say, you get one historical thing where they show, say, family planning don't they since. You get one thing where they see for somewhere for Egypt, something, something BC way back. Maybe they didn't realize women they use family planning. So the thing I say, I, I believe, say, the religion is meant for us to live our lives better. And I believe, say, religion will support anything that will allow us to live our lives to the fullest. If, for example, that thing where you talk now about um, spacing children, then find out, say, children where they born together, less of them survive, more than children where they space. And the Bible talks, say, you should go, yeah, the only thing they talk is I say, go here and multiply. But go here and multiply too. It's not like say make you just multiply anyhow. Multiply with sense. If I if I don't have enough means to take care of ten children, then let me bond two. Even for um, for Quran, you know, say so they talk to so you if you marry plenty wives, but if you marry four, and then they always say if you can take care of them. So if if you're going to marry wives, maybe say you know if you take care of them, then the advice is not to marry more than enough. So if you can't give birth to children, you know if you take care of them. Same thing. All right. Don't want too much. All right, um, very nice one. I, um, since we are actually talking more about family plan, let me talk to Inita now. You come outside and mention um, some of the disadvantage if a woman not actually space her children. In some cases, if it actually leads to postpartum depression, even mental um, instability. Now, you also mentioned um, other factors too, if you actually affect if you don't go into family planning. How can federal government part, um, partner with an organization like yours to ensure, say, the people who really need, need them, those people who are there for in several areas, are being sensitized on the importance of family planning, bearing into mind that these people, in most cases, are poor and they are idle. Okay, so I come from the angle of budget, budget implementation, allocation. Most countries of the world, they have a very large number of, like, percentage of the budget for family planning, the productive health, so to say, because everything around family planning is beyond this condom or not having children. It's more about health. Now, when you see women, like, okay, we are on the field. Most times we go to talk to women or we go to the hospitals. I've seen a woman lost babies because she could not afford 1,005. You know, some of these government hospitals, not private hospitals now, government hospitals, registration, we want to buy this, we want to buy that. They cannot even afford it. So why go through that pain of childbirth just to come and lose the child because you cannot afford certain things? So we are employing the government to help us with allocation of resources so that people can be reached. You know, there's this thing about when government and they inside matter, if they day easy, may you feel pass your message, pass if we they try, because now most times, the acceptance never today like that. People, they hide. If, and that's another problem we have with family planning because most of our youth, the rate of, or the number of people who die from abortion because it's illegal, and many of them cannot even access this family planning. So go pharmacy or this so shop, should, go should buy. So we make it legal? 
Abortion? Well, for, well, for that, it's, 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 um, it's, a, it's still very controversial okay. and it's something we don't even want to. What we're talking about now is responsible, um, how do I put it now? Responsible sexual activity. activity. Yeah. Just be responsible because like, we believe that we don't have illegitimate children or we don't have bastards. We just have parents who are irresponsible. If two adults go into oh, this, the best way is to space your children. Space your, space your children. children. Even if not three, you want born, just space them. Exactly. What's the acceptable years? Two, three? Two years. Two, two years. years acceptable. Two years. Okay, you get any social media handle because I know say more people get questions to ask, but because of time, we need to just um, wrap up this. So um, for younger people, mm -hmm. so to speak, which um, who are the people we focus on the most, they can go to www. Tombe, T O M B E Y, dot okay. org, for them to check on things on family planning, where they can get family planning. Okay. The family so they can plan just go to the website. Yeah, to the website to and then more check information more information about on family it. planning. All yes. right. So now okay, so I'd just like to also have that. That Tombe, the beautiful thing about it is the fact that you're going to get discrete services because that's what we like. We like to access services that your neighbor no go feed judge you. Nobody say, Yankee, yeah, they watch you say, like or that. no say you Fantastic. use this kind of thing. So the Fantastic. beauty of it is you can always get and talk to somebody without anybody knowing what you're getting. Privately, because yes. everybody yes. wants their private information. Um, all right, Naso Osiam, thank you so much for coming. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.